Good to meet you, Sydney. Uh, how you feel about uh, being in the cast of Power uh, Book 2 Ghost now? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm just as excited as my sister. Hi! I'm just as excited as um, I was when I booked it. Absolutely. I'm just excited to see it now. Yes, I'm pretty excited for tonight, especially since it's the premiere of the final season. But before we get to that, uh, what are some of your favorite moments as a fan watching? Oh, listen, listen. I think probably the, what is it, the dinner scene with Diana and when she was like, that's not your mama. You know what I mean? Like, that was good. Um, there's so many from the OG season, too. You know what I mean? So, there's countless. And I think there's going to be more in this season, too. Now, if you was in that scene on the dinner table, what would be your reaction? <laughs> this face right here. Like, and you, I might sink under the table as well because that is crazy. Yeah. And my final one for you. What can we expect from your character on this season? <laughs> fun and mess and um what else i guess like real emotion i think obviously that everybody is it's all real but i think you'll see specifically as it's concluding um some some interesting coping me mechanisms you know what i mean yeah absolutely being that you was on the original show and also on ghost what have you learned the most from your experience what have I learned the most? I would say the thing that I've learned the most from being from the whole experience would probably be that the most important thing on a set is to get along, and to be a family, and to find to find your note. You know, if you're part of a of a team like that, don't try and be somebody else's note. You know, find your own space, and um, that's something that I definitely learned from this project. Awesome. Now, you got your chance to work with Method Man on the previous uh, two seasons. Um, did you enjoy working with Method Man? Hell no. No. <laughs> working, honestly, working with Method Man was the best part of the last few years. He's, I mean, he's a good friend of mine, but he also is just like, he brings so much to the show, and he really is laying himself out there to do something. To also change people's minds about him as an actor, which I think he's done because he's really bringing it, you know? And, um, and I love playing with him, and, uh, and obviously I don't get to do that anymore, but that was probably the coolest thing from the last few years. And my final one for you, um, given that you was in a lot of action scenes throughout the entire series, um, how do you mentally prepare for that? How do I mentally prepare for action scenes? The action scenes, I don't have to mentally prepare for. It's the sex scenes I have to mentally prepare for. <laughs> Unless that's what you meant by action scenes. Whatever. <laughs> Because those, those took some mental preparation for sure, for sure, yeah. It's good to see you again. Last time I saw you was on Zoom and now we're seeing, <laughs> seeing each other first, uh, face to face. So how are you feeling today? So excited. Finally the show is about to be released. We worked really hard on it last year and now we get the world gets to watch it. I'm really excited, yeah. Now I've seen your character development on the last season and it's quite um, compelling. So what, what made you stand out when it came to developing your character? When it, what made me, sorry? Uh, what made you uh, compelled to develop this character that you came up with last year? Yeah, well, in this season, obviously her daughter's introduced, so it's inevitable that you're going to see the, you know, the maternal side of Noma, which I think is really important, because so far you've only just seen her being a badass, but it's nice to see her being a mom and seeing what matters to her, and what, but it also makes her vulnerable, so that's all I'll say about that, yeah. Uh, how did you prepare for all those action and violence scenes from the last season? I would pray. <laughs> And sage. I would sage after doing those scenes and I would get home and lay in the tub and just soak in the tub just to dispel all the venom that I'd be spewing all day on set. It's a lot, but it was worth it. It was fun too. I can tell it was fun, especially since you were on this uh, previous season, now we're on the final season. So uh, do you have any closing thoughts? Um, don't miss it. Miss it and miss out, like for real. It's an incredible season. Final season of uh, Ghost, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very good, man. I'm feeling very alive to be right here with Caroline, man. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just happy, to, like, really happy to be here. Really happy to be a part of this world, this universe, and, and yeah, to see how ma uh, magnifying electric this, this whole thing is. This is huge. You know, um, your character development in last season was quite good, and I really liked the direction it was going. Um, did you feel the same way from the last season to this season? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, to see where we go from season three to season four, um, and the shift that is made, uh, like the fans are going to be able to anticipate what's happening. It's it's going to be explosive. Now, please tell me if Monet was here, you would either listen to her or tell her to f off. I will listen. 
Yeah, I respect my elders. That's good. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That'll be me. I find a one for you. Um, any closing thoughts um, before this? Um, lock in, stay tuned, enjoy, and thank you for your attention. All right, Malcolm, uh, before we get to what was going on here tonight, um, how far are y'all in filming uh, Raising Cane? I plead the fifth. Plead the fifth? <laughs> I can't tell y'all that. Just know we in there. We in there. Big time. We in there. I'm tired. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> now, what I also like was your character development of um, the previous season, especially since you're running the record label now and all that is going on. So how are you feeling about all that? I mean, I feel like it's good to have a something other than sell drugs to do on screen. It is nice to add a little balance, to be a little, to be the hope out of the group of the family sometimes. You know, that's been nice. You know, um, last year when we talked about the previous season, it was about um, loyalty and trust. Um, how's, I know you can't say too much, but how much of that is carried over to the next season of Raising Canaan? I mean, that's the through line and the theme of the series, so you're going to see a lot of it either done or dropped. You're going to see a lot of loyalty or not that much. You're going to see it. That's the whole point of the series. Ben. <laughs> and my final one for you, being that it was set in the 90s, what is your favorite 1990s hip-hop um, group or hip-hop act? Joe to see my favorite 90s group. And uh, my favorite hip hop act. I mean, I mean, I love rest in peace. I love me some DMX. I love Tupac. You know, Tupac probably. It's probably got to go Tupac though. I got to, cause you know he the man. My list is way too long as well. <laughs> I watched um, the previous season last year, and I felt bad when um, Tariq was yelling at you. Um, did you? <laughs> you know what? I felt like I deserved it. As is, is, is bad as that sound, I felt like I deserved it. Uh, we were going at it because they loved each other. Um. <laughs> so I feel like that's expected. You know, when you're passionate about someone, it's like, no, you ain't going to talk to me like that. Yeah. I mean, it may be passionate, but he left you to walk by yourself. He did do that. And you know what? For that, I have nothing to say. Ask him. <laughs> I will in a few minutes. Um, how are you feeling about this last season? Oh my gosh, it's bittersweet. Like I keep thinking about it over and over. I'm gonna miss these guys so much. And Power has been such a legacy, and it's been a part of people's lives for so long. But I really hope that this last season has made everyone proud and, and lived up to the hype. Uh, being on this show for so long now, uh, what have you learned the most as an actor uh, for being on Power? Everything. I mean, this show has literally prepared me for every single instance I could ever encounter on another show. You know, I've got to do weapon training, and I've got to do uh, stunts, and I've got to do intimate intimacy scenes, and yelling at the top of my lungs, as you just said, crying. Like, I will be prepared for the rest of my life to do anything that comes for me, and I'm so thankful for that. It's such a blessing. Now, I have to ask, because I asked him a few uh, years ago, Tariq or Kane? <laughs> oh my god! You're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> um, I feel like Kane, if I'm trying to, for my own benefit, but I feel like, in my personal opinion, I feel like Tariq and Effie will always have something extremely special, and they were always supposed to be in game. Final season of uh, Ghost, uh, how are you feeling today? Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. <laughs> Now, all, all your scenes with Monet in the previous season was very heavy, so how did you and Mary J prepare for all of that? <laughs> how do we prepare? You and Mary J prepare for all those um, heavy scenes last season. Uh, just being professionals. I feel like our chemistry outside of work is so strong that, like, it's going to translate on screen, you know, and when it's time to be hot and mad at each other, just like, for example, what was it, season three, where she, like, literally chokes me up, like, even between every take she's like are you good are you okay like that nurturing love that she gives we know when it's time to turn it on and then we turn it off and it's all love again so we're professionals we do what we got to do that is uh, really great to know um, the last season ended on a cliffhanger um, how quickly is it going to get resolved this um, episode the last season ended on a cliffhanger how quickly is it going to get resolved on this premiere tonight Yo no sé. I don't know. I can't even. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm a lead. I'm, that's my cliffhanger. Yeah. And my final one for you. Uh, what have you learned the most as an actor being on the show? Oh my God. Um, trust yourself. Uh, yeah, I would say my most is trusting myself, trusting my instincts, um, knowing that I put in the work. 
and now it's time to shine and do what I need to do. Because as actors, as creatives, we all get, you know, nervous or we overthink or we get in our head and I feel like sometimes that takes away and I feel like on this show I definitely learned how to like trust myself more trust my instincts especially that dinner table scene a few seasons ago exactly exactly I was just saying like you the way we were at living saying whatever we wanted to say there's a part in there where Lavelle who plays Drew he kicks me under the table and I'm like shut the fuck up but and they kept it it was an ad lib but like it was I don't know. Yeah, just trusting all of that, and we did. Anthony, we're here for the tenth anniversary of uh, the Power Series, but you're on force, and I'm I force. Yes, I've loved all your character development on the previous season. So, um, yeah, how did you, you channel in all of that? What's that? How did you channel in all of the character development? Oh man, you know, just given the the words that I've been given from the writers, you know, and just continuing the story, you know, things develop. JP's a very complex character, I think, as most all the characters on the franchise are, so it's, it's been great. How far are y'all filming of the next season of Force? Uh, we've been filming for a little bit, so we're, we're really deep into the season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially since um, Chicago, when 50 Cent told me Chicago is a character, um, do you feel out the same way for Chicago? It is. Chicago's definitely a character in the show. Chicago's such a big, beautiful city with a lot of personality, you know, a lot of ups and downs. It's beautiful, it's grimy, you know. And I think that's a lot of what our show is. So Chicago's a perfect fit to bring this uh, to bring this story. Speaking of our story, uh, yeah. the story about uh, your character's son last season was quite um, yeah 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 D Mac yeah D Mac. Yeah, um, so how are you feeling about the character development uh, for this season? And whether you could give too much away or not, uh, how are you feeling? About it? I'm feeling good. You know, JP and D Mac are trying to mend some fences. You know, there's been a lot of time apart. And so JP is a father trying to build a relationship again with his son. He's missed a lot of time, and he doesn't want to miss any more. He wants to be in his son's life. But his son's growing up fast, in a very fast and violent world. Um, so it's a challenge and it's a struggle, but family always is. Yeah. That's a central theme for all of the power shows, um, yeah. family, loyalty, and trust. Family is important in the Power series, you know, especially for Tommy. And the way Joseph Accord plays it is beautiful, you know. It's something that's very important to the Tommy character, something that he's always wanted in his life. And it hasn't really worked out for him yet, you know. He, everyone who gets close to Tommy ends up going away, one way or the other. Ten year celebration of power, you're raising Kanan, and you hid your death pretty well in the last season. <laughs> so how did you hide that from everybody? I mean, by just, you know, not letting the cat out the bag. Listen, I don't like spoilers when I'm watching my favorite TV shows, so I just assume everybody else wouldn't like that either, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to, yeah. Now, um, I'm not sure if you could um, tell me, but how far are y'all on this um, filming for Racing Canaan? Oh, season four, we're done. Yeah. Wait, so. y'all finished already? Yeah, we finished. Oh my God, I didn't, I actually did not know. Yeah. Now you know. Now I know. <laughs> Now, um, going back to Unique, um, his character development on the previous season was pretty good. Um, everything with his brother, well, with Rock. So, um, how did you mentally prepare for all of this? Um, I don't. <laughs> you didn't mentally prepare for any of that? Nah, I just jump into it. <laughs> all right, I don't um, got time to mentally prepare for shit these days. <laughs> Okay. Um, are you working on any uh, new music? Because your previous album came out last year. Two years ago, and yes. Yes, I am working on new music. The new album is actually done, so you can expect that later this year. See, I'm really going to expect it. And um, my final one for you. What are some of the most crazy moments, either through Razor Canaan or through the Power Series, that really stood out to you? Um, definitely got to be that unique return. I mean. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat that. You know, because um, the first time when we spoke up, you told me that Razor Canaan will be the best show, and a lot of fans also believe that. Yeah, Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's very great. I mean, it's the reason. It's, it's a reason why we're the, we're not canceled. <laughs> it's a reason for this. Here to celebrate the 10 years of our uh, power. He's on original, and on Ghost, and on Force. That's right. How are you feeling? I feel like. Um, $500 million just like uh, season one of the power show or season two of the power show when Tommy and Ghost had the uh, the stash house with all of the money in it. That's how I feel. <laughs> Imagine if that house was still around. I, my God, it, it would be looted ten times over. <laughs> now, how far are y'all when it comes to filming this uh, current season of Force? We are, I film tomorrow and uh, in Chicago. 
So I'm here because where else could I be on the 10-year anniversary but supporting my guy Michael Rainey Jr., who I'm so proud of. What a wonderful character. What a dynamic actor. Stepping it up from the original Power Show till here. I'm so excited for him. Um, Power Book 4 Force. Uh, show run by Gary Lennon, the co-showrunner of the original Power series. So you know it's going to be great. I have never been more proud of a season of television in my life on any show I've done of the original Power on Ozark, on True Detective, anything than this season of Power Book 4 Force. And this is no joke. The acting performances are, are dynamic. They're stellar. Uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony Fleming III as J.P. Gibbs, uh, uh, Isaac Keys and J uh, uh, Chris Lofton, unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You guys are going to love this season, but I'm here. I can't believe it. I'm so proud of Michael. Curtis 50 Cent Jackson's the best boss in existence. Good to see you uh, again, Mike Rainey Jr. Those chains probably cost more than my what my student loans used to cost. <laughs> Nah, I stole these for somebody. I don't even know how much they cost. <laughs> how are you feeling about this um, last season, especially since um, tonight's the premiere? Man, I'm feeling good about it. You know, I feel like we worked super hard this season. And um, we had a lot of fun filming this season. So I feel like it's going to translate. And I feel like the people are going to enjoy it. And being that this is the last, you know, premiere, this is kind of, you know, this is kind of sad, man. This is going to be the last time I see these people as a group on the, on, the, on the carpet. So, you know, I'm just taking it in. I'm enjoying every second of it. You know, last week I meant to ask you, uh, what have you learned the most from being on this show since you are younger to now? Um, what have you learned the most? Man, I learned a lot, bro. Literally just to, you know, appreciate, you know, just appreciate life, appreciate, you know, if you have a super healthy work, work environment and you, and you, you know, basically grew a family and, and a workspace, you know, you got to appreciate that because, you know, you never know when it's going to end. It's not going to last forever. So you just got to appreciate, you know, being able to be comfortable with the people that you're working with every single day. So... That's one thing I definitely learned to do.